Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, sorry I've been away for a few days. I've had a bit of a throat problem and was unable to record any videos, but we're back now. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to add a very easy mega menu to your Divi theme. Really easy to do. Great way of organizing your menu links if you've got a lot of them, and you can have more than one. I've got two here, as well as regular links. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is go down to my dashboard. Once at the dashboard, I'm going to go down to appearance and menus. Once we get to the menus, we're going to want to create a new menu. If we go up here, unless you've already got one already, I'm going to go ahead and create a new menu. We'll give it a name. Let's call it mega two, as I have one already. I want to assign it to our primary menu. For anybody that doesn't know, this is the primary menu up here in the main taskbar. Once it's created, you're giving it a name and where you want to put it. I'm going to go ahead and create the menu. Now we've saved it. We can start adding pages. You've got pages here. I've got my most recent, or you can hit view all if you want to hit all of them there. Let's just add a few. Let's add home, about, services, and perhaps contact. Just hit the add to menu. As you can see, it pops over in our menu. To rearrange them, just left click, drag it to where you want it and release your left mouse button. Okay, my services here, I'm gonna have that drop down. We're gonna make it into a mega menu. So the first thing we wanna do is add the actual pages or links that we wanna put under. And you can have pages, you can have custom links, you can have categories and you can have posts, whatever you want here. I'm just gonna to stick to pages. Let's select a bunch of these and I'll just add them down underneath. Haven't quite got enough to fill up a, a mega menu on this, but that's okay. I'm gonna hit the add. Now that we've added them, I wanna put them where I want to. The services right here is where I want them to be the mega menu. So I need to drag these, just left click and pull them underneath the services here. I know I've got a duplicate there. Just drag it slightly to the right so it becomes a sub end item and it'll tell you right there. And we'll just continue dragging these other ones underneath too. Obviously I've got some random pages on mine. You'd have real pages for yours. And like I say, I'm a little bit short on links here, but we'll roll with what we've got, which is fine. Borders, and we've got one more up there, which is contact us three. Now, if I save this menu now, hit the little save menu button down here. It'll tell us up here, Mega 2 has been updated. If I go over here and refresh, our new menu is going to be up here, but it's going to be a regular menu. And our menu, when it comes in, it's just going to have our drop downs in a list form, just like this. To turn that into a mega menu, and imagine I've got perhaps double the amount here at least. We need to go back to our menus here and add a little class name in our services. If we open this up by hitting the little arrow to the right hand side here, there's a little box that says CSS classes. And I can hear you saying this now, you've just opened yours up and you don't see one there. You don't see a little box that says CSS classes. Well, if we scroll right up to the top of the screen, there's a little tag up here that says screen options, left click on it. It'll drop down all the things you want to see when we open up one of these. And we've got a little box here that's checked that says CSS classes. By default, it's not checked. So if I uncheck it and we look down here now, there is no box. And that's probably what you're going to see unless you happen to have checked this before. Once we go back here and check this, we've got that little CSS classes box. To make this into a mega menu, all we've got to do is write mega, M-E-G-A dash menu, M-E-N-U. Save the changes once more. Go back to our page now when we refresh. The menu itself won't look any different, but when we drop down, we've got four columns there. And like I say, you can fill all these out so you've got plenty of them there. And you can have more than one mega menu. You can have 
a contact with a mega menu underneath it if you wanted to. I'm going to switch back to my original now that's got all those things over it. There's one more thing you need to know. So let's select my original one, which I think was called Meg. Here it is right here. And let's make sure we got it assigned to the primary right down the bottom. Check that little box, save the menu. Now, if I go back here, I've got my original menu should turn up. And there's a lot more items in these. Now, there's one thing you're going to have to think about. When we look at this on a mobile, there's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tools. If I hit my F12 key, here we are. I've got my mobile devices toggle on here. If I turn it off, it'll be regular. And I can turn it on and we can choose an iPhone or whatever it is you want, iPad, whatever, to check it out on. But you'll notice on an iPhone, if I open up our menu here, we've got a bit of a problem. I can't get to the bottom items. There's a lot more items than this on our menu here. And I just can't get to anything after sub-menu 8. If I toggle this off. Sub-menu 8 there. We've got a couple of things. And this is actually under our services. So we're missing everything from sub-menu 9 onwards. And our contact us. And our big drop other one here. We just can't get to it. If I toggle it back. It just stops at number eight there. That's not going to work. So we need to add a little bit of CSS to do this today. Let's get rid of this. What we need to do is open up our menu here. I'm going to right click. I'm using, like I say, Google Chrome with the inspector tools here. Most browsers have this nowadays, but if yours doesn't, Chrome is a free download. I'm going to hit the inspect. I'm going to pull my bar up a little bit so we can see the HTML. If we've got elements, it'll give us HTML. If we got styles, it would give us CSS here. Now I want something that's going to select all of our menu items here. So if we just right click again on pat to the blank space there, here we go. We've got ET mobile menu here. If I hover over it, you can see it's selecting all of those. They've gone blue. So that's what I need to target. So I'm going to copy that by double left clicking on it. It's going to highlight it. Control C to copy. I'm going to go back down to my dashboard. This time, I'm going to go down to Divi and Theme Options. Under the General tab, if we scroll all the way down, we've got a custom CSS panel. Now, you can put this in your additional CSS too, if you want. They're both exactly the same place. Now, CSS, good idea to give it a title. If you've got something there, just put your cursor to the left of it, scoot it down like I did there. We'll go back up to the top. A title's forward slash, star star forward slash. Anything that you write in between will not be read as code. So it's a great place for titles and notes and things. And it's a great curse to see if anybody edits the site after you. It makes it so much easier for them to find things. So let's say mega scroll. Now we copied that class name just now. All class names have to have a dot or a period in front of them when we write them in the custom CSS or additional CSS panel. So there's the dot or period. I'm going to paste in the class name we copied. Control V to paste, ET, mobile menu. We'll open some curly brackets here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a fixed height. It doesn't want to be any more than about 80% or 75 even percent of a, the height of our screen, whichever, whatever device we view it on. So we can do that easily by writing height. H-E-I-G-H-T. I'm going to make mine 80 viewable height. 80VH for viewable height. Then we'll put a little semicolon so we can write another line of code. And I'm going to say overflow. Colon. I'm going to say scroll. S-C-R-O-L-L. -L. Now we've got to force it because we're overriding some styles here. Now overflow is basically anything coming after submenu 8 there that's down below here we want to be able to see that and we want to be able to scroll down to it so as we're actually overriding stars i've got to use important i don't like to use it but sometimes you have to and this is one of those cases i'm going to put exclamation mark important and i'll put this css code down below for anybody that wants to copy and paste it along with that class name but it's very easy as you can see now once we put this in here make sure you hit your save changes till we get this little green check mark here now, if we go back to this page and I refresh, 
Let's drop our little menu down. There's a little bar at the side, a little scroll bar. And now there's submenu 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We can scroll all the way down and get all of our menu items. And that's really important because you don't want people on mobile to be stuck and not be able to get to half of your pages. And that little bit of CSS will fix that quite easily. So there we have it, guys. There is how to create a mega menu or even a couple of mega menus for your Divi site really easy. And also to make sure that they work on mobile, we've added that bit of CSS code. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and with designandtechtips.com. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below. I'll do my best to answer them for you, or we'll make a little demo video just like this one. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.